video we are fixing defender or security essentials error 873b01 you might get this message when you are trying to turn on windows defender on your device and it fails um, you won't only get this error message along with a few other symptoms such as not being able to find windows defender in the control panel you are not being able to start it and you might still get the message that windows defender is up and running and it is protecting your computer so our first method is to uninstall any third party security software press windows key and type change or remove a program or you can simply click on start menu and type program and features from here go to program programs and features from the list given in here uh, see if you have installed McAfee or Symantec or any other um, software uh, for virus removal or uh, for, for the for the security of the computer uh, remove it from here or if uh, you want to use specific uninstaller which can uninstall the programs specifically uh, you can use McAfee's uh, uninstall utility let's use so from this link you can install McAfee removal tool this link is given in the video description and then we have another link for Norton's remover using this link you can download Norton's removal tool restart your computer once you have removed these softwares and then try turning on Windows Defender or start it if you are still facing the same issue we can proceed to method 2 press Windows key and press R type R E G E D I T and press enter click yes on USB prompt so in registry uh, we need to delete two keys from two different locations so on a affected computer uh, let's go to hkey local machine software microsoft windows nt current version and image file execution options so on an infected computer or the computer where you are getting this message uh, for Windows Defender you will find a key uh, under this image file execution options folder saying MSS triple -E dot exe if you find that just right click on it and delete it the second location for this uh, in the registry is hkey current user software microsoft windows current version policies and then explorer if you find this allowed run this or this allow run and in that you find mssees.exe delete that too once you are done restart your computer and see if you are still getting the same message so after the restart if you have uh, if you are still facing the same issue our third method is to run the system file checker tool 
right click on start menu and select command from admin or windows powershell admin click on yes for the usc prompt here type in sfc space forward slash scan now press enter and wait for the process to get completed this process will check your system files and it will repair uh, if it finds any corrupt system files it might take a couple of minutes to get complete the last option if running the system file checker still doesn't help the last option that we have is to update windows uh, press windows key and type windows update and then click on check for updates and see if you are getting any updates install them and restart your computer um, after the restart you should not be you should not be getting the same error message I hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel